Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I built this 3D printed storage solution using torsion springs. First I want to shout out the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can still design and print your parts with a service like PCBWay. What's even better is that PCBWay offer a huge range of materials to choose from, so you could even print the axle rod used in this project from nylon, which would work much better than your standard PLA or PETG filaments. They're currently running a Christmas promotion too, and there are many money off coupons and discounts to all their major services, so check out PCBWay.com today. So I'm starting out on the CNC and I'm just cutting out the bottom bracket. This is going to be made of plywood. I'm using some plywood parallels just to raise it off of the surface. And I'm using a Saunder Machine Works mod vise. I absolutely love this vise. It's really good for metal and wood. And I'm going to be using a three millimeter straight bit end mill to cut this out. After a few minutes of cutting, I can take the piece out and I just need to do a little bit of sanding, need to cut it out of the plywood. Now just drilling in the hole so a 6mm uh, bolt can fit through the back here. I actually simplified this design because as it says my original design didn't work. I can actually fit it onto this leg. Uh, this is a much more easier design and it works perfectly. I'm using some 3D printed braces at the back here, just so it doesn't pivot up and down on the leg. And just to give it a little bit more support as well, I'm just cutting out some little triangle brackets that are just gonna be fixed onto the bottom. And now I've just got a little lip that I'm adding to the edge of it. This is just to stop the mixer from actually sliding off of the, uh, the base here. This project took a very long time. Uh, as you can see, I went through many, many iterations of these uh, torsion springs, designed it lots of different times to get it perfect. Uh, but I finally come up with a design that I'm happy with, and this is it. It's quite simple. It's just uh, two hooks, and I've just got a, a hex bar going through those hooks, and then they just push onto some torsion springs. And I'm just using some super glue here just to make sure that it holds tight. And then the last bit is just a, is just a 3D printed rod. And you can actually put threads on on the 3D printed things, which is pretty cool, and it does actually come out quite nicely. I've just printed out some uh, some bolts just to stick onto the edge here. And that's the latch done. You can see that it just slots into these M8 nuts that are already on my table, and just need to tighten it up, and then it's good to go. So you can see how this thing works. And what I want to do now is I want to show you how I designed these torsion springs in Fusion 360 because they're a really simple thing to make and they can be used in many different applications. So let's head over to Fusion 360 and we'll go through how I did it. So I'm going to show you how to make your own torsion spring in Fusion 360 here. Uh, what we do is we go to create and we want to create a coil and we'll just place that in the center here um, for the time being don't really need to worry too much about the measurements we're going to be able to change all of these settings uh, for now we'll just put kind of 20 mil and you can see that it creates a coil we want it to be flat on one axis so we'll change the type and we'll go with spiral so you can see that it's now created what looks like a torsion spring as you can see there's a few parameters here that uh, we can change so first of all in order to make this easier to print you can see that it's actually going with a, uh, a circular section we'll change it to square that's just going to be easier to print you can see you've also got a triangular which would also be uh, printable for this we'll just keep it as square the section size is the size of the one section here so you can see this is currently five millimeters for mine i think i used around about six or seven millimeters so if we change it to six you can see as you start to increase the section size the gap in between each coil here is going to get smaller and if you get to a certain point you can see that my pitch is 7.5. If we make this 7, 
you can see that it then becomes a solid object. So you've got to play around with the pitch and the section size, and you want it so that you know you've got a little bit of a gap between each uh, revolution here. We could put the pitch to nine, and we keep the section size to seven. Revolutions. This is just essentially how many revolutions of the spring there is. Obviously, you could make a huge spring, and it would obviously be able to uh, turn many, many times and hold all of that energy. For my latch design, I only needed it to move like 90 degrees so i really didn't need many revolutions in this and also because of the size of this as you add revolutions the spring gets bigger it was going underneath the table i only had a small amount of space so we can keep it to two so the diameter in the middle whatever you're going to be using to attach this spring to is the size that you want to go with for me i was using a hexagon rod that i was printing and i knew that that was going to be seven millimeters so basically i just went a little bit bigger in order to accommodate some 3d printed material around that so for this you could probably go with say 14 and now i can fit my hexagon rods we've now got the the spiral here so now we can kind of draw out the rest of this design so what we can do is we can add a a circle we'll just go from here to this point there and then what we'll do is i will add my my hexagon so we'll kind of keep it let's let's kind of put it like here so it's kind of in the middle and this was we'll just say seven so it's like 3.5 we'll just place it here and now we can extrude this center point here and if i just extrude it to the back you can see that now i've got my torsion spring with my hexagon hole in the middle so I can put the uh, the rod for it and then the same goes with the attachment part so mine was uh, just an m6 bolt that attaches to the other 3d printed part and again you can just create a sketch and then you can just draw out your circle so we could put the six mil circle we could put it kind of like at the end here and then we can kind of like draw around it so we could offset it pressing o on the keyboard we can offset it by Let's give it like four millimeters of material around it. That should be enough. And then we can we can just draw here until we get to the tangent there. And then we can draw from here until the tangent there. And then again, we can just extrude these points to the back. And there we go. So that is the torsion spring completed and obviously the good thing about fusion 360 is you know it's parameter driven we can come back and we can change this let's pretend that actually um, i want it to turn more so i want to add maybe some more uh, revolutions onto it there we go we can add it in and we've still got the uh, the features that we've added onto it i hope you found that tutorial useful i hope to see some torsion springs used in your own projects if you've got any questions just put them in the comments below and as always like and subscribe it really does help this channel that is it for today i will catch you later